Hi from space, my name is Thomas Pesquet and I've been on the ISS since last November. I'm excited to be here in the cupola today to talk about the QB50 program. In just a few minutes, we're going to begin deploying a constellation of 28 CubeSats from universities and organizations around the world. The QB50 International Space Station program, coordinated by the Von Karman Institute for Fluid Dynamics and sponsored by the European Commission, was launched and will be deployed via Nanorax and their CubeSat deployment program here on station. The overall QB50 mission is a combination of work from more than 50 universities and research institutes, 23 countries and 5 continents. Here on the station, our global collaboration is crucial for success and we're very excited to be a part of this international effort. The QB50 satellites being deployed today via the Nanorax CubeSat deployer will perform a detailed investigation of the mid-lower thermosphere during their one, two year lifespan. Each of the satellites will use one of three instruments, an ion neutral mass spectrometer, the flux probe experiment, or the multi-needle Langmuir probe. The mid-lower thermosphere is a difficult location to reach. It's too high for ground radars and too low for large satellites. CubeSats allow for multi-point measurements of the gaseous molecules in Earth's atmosphere, each just the right size to house the necessary equipment. The QB50 mission is the first real-time coordinated study of the thermosphere resolved in space, altitude and time on a global scale. The CubeSat data will then be used to validate and enhance forecasting models and improve our understanding of the physical processes taking place in a thermosphere. Beyond just scientific research, QB50 serves as a world leader for facilitating access to space, promoting education in space engineering and international collaboration. Teaming worldwide is key for reaching the challenging goals awaiting humankind inside and outside our solar system, and QB50 would have never existed if the participants didn't share the same vision. Congratulations to the QB50 program, the Fund Karman Institute, the European Commission, and NanoRax for bringing this global mission to the International Space Station. Let's go send these satellites into orbit now.